This is the adjusted trial balance we just barely completed. It actually is kind of long, so I've put it on two different pages. What I want you to do now is see if you can classify each of these listed accounts as one of the following. Current assets, non-current assets, contra assets, current liability, non-current liability, equity account that will appear on the balance sheet, or equity account that appears on the income statement or is a dividend account. The income statement accounts would be revenues and expenses. So stop the video, see if you can do that classification, and then we'll see how well you did. Okay, here we go. Current assets. These are those assets expected to be converted into cash or save you from paying cash within the next year. Non-current assets. Those are those assets that are expected to be converted to cash or save you from spending cash in periods beyond one year. Contra assets. Those are the accounts that are deducted from the related asset on the balance sheet. For example, on the balance sheet, you would show accounts receivable minus the balancing allowance for doubtful accounts to get the net receivables, the amount you really expect to realize out of those receivables. And for equipment, you have accumulated depreciation, which is deducted to arrive at the book value of the equipment. Buildings, deduct the accumulated depreciation to arrive at the book value of the buildings. That's the amount of the building that has not yet been expensed. Current liabilities. These are the liabilities expected to be paid off within the next year. Going on to the next page. Once again, stop the video and take a moment and see if you can classify these accounts. On this, we're only going to see long-term or non-current liabilities, equity on the balance sheet, as well as equity temporary accounts such as revenues, expenses, and dividends. Okay, hopefully you've taken the time to classify those. Here we go. Non-current liability. Those liabilities expect to be paid off in periods beyond one year. Equity. This is capital stock that will appear on the balance sheet. It is a permanent account which carries its balance forward from period to period. Dividends is an equity account, but it actually is only a temporary equity account that gets deducted from retained earnings. Revenues are equity accounts, but they are used to compute net income, which is closed into retained earnings. Expenses. Expenses are deducted from revenues to arrive at net income, which is closed into retained earnings. I hope you got those right, because that ability to classify these accounts is essential to preparing the financial statements properly. Hopefully you're ready to move on. Let's look at it from the big picture. 